Hey guys, welcome to MME's Mixing Tutorials. Um, I just want to share a quick one with you today on the basics of EQing your live kick drum. This is not the only way to EQ a kick drum, but I'm just hoping to offer you a starting point. So yeah, let's jump right in. So as you can see, my EQ is flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the kick drum sound for you with no EQ. And then you can hear the sound of the drum itself completely flat. Cool. So now I'm going to um, show you the curve that uh, we generally create as a starting point for mixing the kick drum. So I'm going to play that and then EQ it as it's playing. Grab these two bands, pull them down. Minus 9 is good. Reduce the Q. I uh, want more of the slap and the kick click to come through. So I'm going to boost around 4K. Create a nice big curve on the high end. Maybe bring that down slightly. Then just add some weight at the bottom. Try 60. So we can feel it and hear it at the same time. That's what we're going for. Um, cool. So let me A, B that EQ for you. And you can hear what has happened before and after. Before and after. Cool. So you can see we just got rid of some of that boomy boxiness happening and the low end and we boosted the highs to get some of the snap to come through and added a bit of weight at the bottom. So like I said, this is a starting point curve for mixing uh, in and EQing your live kick drum. So let me play this for you in the context of the music and you can hear how the EQ has helped our kick drum in this song. Okay, that's EQ on, bypass. Cool, yeah, so that's the basic idea to uh, get the thump and the snap to come through and get rid of that um, boxy boominess around the low mids area. Um, but yeah, experiment, like I said, this is just a starting point for getting that basic kick drum sound. Cool, guys. Hope that was helpful.